How'd it feel after getting kicked out of the uh, getting kicked out of the expo for uh, attempted murder murder of uh, the Logan Paul cosplayer? I, I say uh, good riddance. He deserved it, much like the actual real life Logan Paul. I'll kill him. I'll kill him dead. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the podcast where we talk about anything and everything that comes out of the craft shoot. I'm your host, JD. This is my co-host. Jay! Is this actually recording right? I feel like it's a little quiet, but... No, you can change the audio as much as you want. Yeah, I mean, I'll just keep it there, just so I can work on it in post. It's I mean, I'm, I'm going to sound quieter because yeah. I'm further away and I'm probably not looking at the mic when I'm talking. Yeah, you shouldn't. I'll just be focusing on on. I'm just focusing on driving stuff. and then I'll do a little commentary as we go. Yeah, so look at, look at all those Gemchin. What's different from this week's episode is that uh, well, level up happened. Oh, uh, it literally just happened. We're, we're leaving. We're on the way out. We're on the way out from the last day of the convention. Is that a Doctor Doom cosplayer? It was a very cool thing. And ah, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, it's MF Doom, not Doctor Doom. Okay. MF Doom? Yeah, the rapper who is very inspired by comic books and stuff. He wears like a oh. Sparta mask and his name comes from Doctor Oh, and, and, oh okay, Doctor. I see how it is. That's why they're wearing the green cape. Because yeah, so, so this week's episode is going to take place in a car. It probably won't be that long since we, uh, it's probably... <laughs> Get out of the road, fuckface! And, uh, yeah, there's going to... Uh-oh, Genshin cosplayers. <laughs> run, run them over. Run them... <laughs> she was everything to me. <laughs> I mean, I'm in James' rickety-ass car. The convention was pretty fun. Uh, you'll be able to see it in the special, so I guess I won't talk too much about it. You got a lot of footage this time to go yeah. through, too. There is a lot of footage to go through, and I, I'm going to pick out some moments that I think are going to be really good. Cut out any of the really like boring moments. Cut um, out all the times that I've kind of slowly panned up. I'm, 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 I'm gonna a, assume I'm gonna be cutting out. A compilation of I'm gonna be cutting out a lot of the the first day stuff where you, you're like you're filming me. And we're just walking through the ex, 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 exhibitions. Can you so, every yeah. anime on there? What? Can you every anime on there? We're standing right behind a truck that is super decked out in weeb stickers. Mm -hmm. Can you name all the animes? Uh, I can. This Full Metal Alchemist. Two of them are from Full Metal Alchemist. Uh -huh. I can't really. I don't really. T I don't really know which one the Fire Ring is from. That's Spider Man. Um, character. One of them is from My Hero Academia. Who? Then uh, it's uh, the, yeah. I don't know about the other ones. So it looks like Blaz Blue and Genshin Impact. Full Metal <laughs> Alchemist. I don't think it's Genshin Impact. Spider Man, best anime character. Toga I guess this will be like the academics. extra part for um so what what stuff did you want to talk about that wasn't in the uh, thing? So remember that one day? Yeah, we were waiting in line for uh the fucking hell of a boss panel and there was a guy in front of us and JD pointed this out to me. He's watching Andrew take TikToks and it like blew my mind because like I see he's watching that and then I'm thinking oh. Oh, wow, why the fuck is going on? <laughs> Careful there, James. Almost almost got it, almost T-boned him. Fuck it. Oh, cause that jackass. They, I, I was like, why are they sideways? And then everyone stopped. I'm like, oh, cause they think he's gonna fucking jump out cause he doesn't know how to drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like yeah. seeing everything happen. I'm like, what the fuck Usually is going on? Usually when the car in front of you is the one that's like starting to like, like stop at a hard stop. It's not really their fault. Most yeah, of the that's, time. that's what I've learned in life. Don't blame the person in front of you always. <laughs> they're usually just responding. It's never as it seems. Yeah, especially when they're a car you can't see past. Yeah. Cause like I saw the guy sideways and I was confused and then our wheels started it's stopping. Some, it's, it's some crazy dudes in the left turn like trying to make a left turn like red turn. He's trying to make a left turn lane turn. Fuck, He's trying to make a left turn on a red light. <laughs> on a red light. Yes. As well as I'm gonna get out the title of that. Okay. Sorry. You know it's it, yeah. There's a dude. Sorry, there was a dude. I'll, I'll talk about yeah. it. You can focus on driving since this I'll is my kind of a. Tidbits. Well, actually, well, you'll be able to talk now since it's a red light. There's a dude who's on TikTok watching Andrew Tate videos, and I'm thinking, what, what is he in this line for? Because we're going to see a hell of a boss panel, which goes, in my mind, against everything Andrew Tate. It's got gay people. It's got very uh, feminine male characters. Is, is Andrew Tate that bad against gay people? Or yes, was he's it? very anti uh, like, uh, homophobic and stuff. Yeah. I was about to say anti-Semitic. He's that too, but I didn't mean, <laughs> I didn't mean that in that moment. <laughs> He's a lot of horrible things. Uh huh. But yeah, no, it's like, it's so much not him. It's very pro LGBT. It's very fuck you towards people like him. You know, I'm yeah. just saying, like, what is this guy in the front of us, like, here for? What, what, what is this? 
Well, maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't like he. It was like a hate watch thing. You know, it was like he's like, oh, this son of a. Yeah, that's why, why he went. Fucker. That's why he went to the panel for it. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously he went to the panel, so it's you know. <laughs> Jay's just shaking his head right now. <laughs> Can't believe it. Can't I, believe his eyes. I, I don't think we ever talked about this, but there's this McDonald's in front of us. Yeah. It's a very infamous McDonald's. We didn't talk about the podcast. Yeah. yeah, we talked about it in person, but we've never talked about it in the podcast. It's a very infamous McDonald's for where we live because it's one of the oldest looking. Where are they going? That confused me. But it's one of the it's oldest one of the McDonald's because it keeps the original design. It's even got the weird, like, little Mr. Minute guy on it and everything. The original Is mascot. Is that the original mascot? One of, one of them. One of them. Uh, it's got the original arches in the drive, like, through and everything. The golden arches. It's the uh, it's a very famous looking uh, sort of uh, McDonald's. And apparently, according to one of my friends, it's one of the dirtiest and grossest. The bathrooms are just full of gunk and stuff, and the food is never, like, good. It's, like, <laughs> right, bad. Right now, you sound like uh, you sound like my father when he, whenever he's talking about, like, old cars. Where he's like, older is never better, JD. You're, listen to me. Don't never, never get an old-fashioned car. And he's saying this because... Uh, when I was driving to my university, uh, the car in front of us was like this, this like 1940s like uh, car that had like the really small circle lights in the back and and it was like <laughs> it didn't have a blinker and stuff. So he, he was looking at it and he was like, this pisses me off. Why would you ever drive a no, shit really car like this? This really grinds my gears. This really grinds mm. my gears. <laughs> Don't. He's like, he was like, why would you ever drive, drive a shit car like this? And 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 not it, it just doesn't make any sense. So I guess you know, older is is not actually better, James. Even if, even if it's for the novelty. I mean, I'm better. It's than a novel tool, co- no, novelty car. Imagine you watch somebody walk down this in their cosplay down the fucking boulevard. Sorry, you're gonna talk louder, James. Imagine you watch somebody walk down this street in their cosplay. <laughs> you should be shout talking because you're farther away from the microphone. So, think about it. Imagine if. I've learned this building right here is full of homeless people. This uh, Red Rooms one here. Really? Yes. It's a hotel, right? It's like abandoned though. Oh, it's, it's an abandoned it's, hotel, so it's just full of. It's, old, yeah, it's like abandoned. People? It's full. It's like not like rented out or anything. Oh. And it's just full of like squatters and shit. Oh. That's interesting. I guess I guess uh, if you when you become homeless, you can move over there then, huh? Dude, when you become homeless, life's sick. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you feel walking around all day in the uh, in the big uh, the the jumpsuit and the, the vest? Oh, I loved it because I definitely didn't feel any tension on my shoulders and neck the entire time. Hmm. I you want to hit a Dutch Bros on the way back, and I'll, I'll pay you for it. Or... No, it's fine. It's okay, fine. James. Next time. Next ne- time. Next time. Then. Well, you want to hit the you want to hit the Jolly Bee on the way back, and <laughs> no, no, next time, next time. No, 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 no. no. Oh my god, that car is, it has to be behind that scooter. <laughs> I saw people doing heroin right there once, just straight up. Are you sure it was heroin? Yes. You sure it wasn't anything else? I'm aware of what it was. It's because you're so used to... You, I you're know like, first hand, you know how it works, so... Yeah, I'm a big addict, that's why I'm so skinny. Fuck you, you fucking dickhead piece of shit, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll fucking kill your whole family. <laughs> Someone just cut off James. To In get the dumbest place. fucking way without using a goddamn blinker, too. He blinked. He just pressed. No, he blinked after he got he, over. He put on the blinker right as he's tur- merging in. No, he I didn't. Mean, you got to think fast, James. You just got to think it. fast. No, you don't. Because there was nobody behind me. He could have just fucking passed over normally. He didn't have to do his weird, I'm in a fucking fast good, car. Good up. feet. What? Good feet. That's the, the, the shoe place. I was in that place. So, yes, I've seen people do heroin there once. Yeah, I mean, so I, the way to the I think at the, at the end of the day, um, Andrew Tate is a big supporter of Hell of a Boss, <laughs> the animated show. Yes. And uh, I think that's why it landed him in jail, because mm-hmm. it's just cringe. He was in jail for cringe. He's a big furry fan. For liking the furriness of He's a big furbo. That. He's a big fur, furby. <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's a brand. We can't use that word. <laughs> oh, we can't speak that's about why we brands call them here. <laughs> we can call them for bonies. So, uh, yeah, but it, you know, this convention is pretty pretty fun. Yeah, pretty fun. Also, you went back to talking about Andrew Tate when we moved on to talking about like how the costume fell. Yeah, I mean, I was just uh, you know, because I I, I like Andrew Tate. I'm aware. You're I like talking supporter. about Andrew Why Tate. Why this guy get in the sling if he's gonna drive slower? 
because this is the right lane. And no, you, it's not. You know how there's the right no reason you should be going slow you know how in this you lane drive, when there's a shoulder. You know how you drive the entire shoulder. You know how you drive to make the turn. You, drive, you need to drive slow to be cautious. You drive slower when you're in the right lane. Oh my god, he's so far in front of you. Oh just my go. god, you, you're wrecked. You're getting wrecked, dude. You're getting wrecked. Yeah, so the right lane is always the slower lane. We're driving like half the speed limit right now. <laughs> and watch, he's gonna speed up. Now. He's gonna. Come on, dude. Speed up. Speed up. Oh, oh come on, man. Anyway. <laughs> I love how pissed off you get when you're driving. When you're... I'm a like, very calm person. Are you a calm and reasonable person? No. Hmm. I'm a very angry and violent. This is why I write so many angry and violent male characters. It's because I yeah. know what I am. This is, why you, this is, this is the birth, this is the birth of... DC is uh, to hunt down the Freeman. What was his name? Rev Revenant? Re Renegade. Renegade. No, so Renegade is a character I just actually genuinely made up on the spot. I feel like he was just full of hate, though. You know, like. Well, yeah, he was, cause like it was like that when, dark and cause I had this edgy whole, and. Well, I had this whole thing. So what I was originally gonna do. It reminded me of Millie from from Hell of a Boss. <laughs> you mean the kindest character? <laughs> is Invader Zim the one that's the? <laughs> that's Moxie. Oh. Okay. Moxie's a little fucking shitty guy. I mean, he's kind. Weren't they all supposed to be like shitty dudes? Well, yeah, they're demons, but like Millie is like genuinely the most kind-hearted of them all. She's got like, she's got a southern accent. And she's like all nice and shit. You know, I think. And I th then like Moxie, he's like, I got a million ways I'll kill a person. Yeah, I think this show's a little bit. Uh, I think it's uh, it, it's like satanic, isn't it? Um, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Remember the time? Hey, Jenny, remember the time when they showed the trailer? The little clip? Hey, James, remember the time when... Uh, remember the time when uh, when we were locked out of the panel and, and everything? Remember the time when Nico and, and, and Nico, Noah Nico, said that they were going to come to the convention on day three and then they didn't? I like how this year... Uh, your intimidating presence you gave off actually just made like no one want to come talk to us. I uh, was, uh, I put my hair up this year. <laughs> that was pretty. Uh, People yeah. can see my face. I think they were just terrified of what you could smell like. I guess you know. <laughs> I put in a lot of effort not to smell. <laughs> I know James. You you don't smell James, but you look like someone who does. You're like, oh, sh you're like shaking in rage. <laughs> you like, you like side eye me in the the corner. Um, what the fuck are we talking about? Now we're talking about whatever, convention wise or. No, I know. There was just there was a thought in my mind, and now it's gone. Uh, we do it fine. I do it. Yeah. Uh, this was the first one we cosplayed in, right? We yeah. didn't cosplay last time. I've. I cosplayed that level up before, like I did three days of cosplaying and everything, and uh, it, <laughs> I couldn't do it because one year I'd done so like in my mind and overheated about it that like I had to take off all the cosplay, sit in a hallway for like 20 minutes to cool down, and then I went through it all in my car and just went back inside. <laughs> like I'd gotten like, it wasn't even like I got paranoid, it's like I got like so just like scared of everything because like I put a ton of work into it. And then I got just really scared. I never got a picture of it. I have all the pieces still. So you're saying you have no evidence? Somebody took a photo of me. And really? I don't know where the fuck that photo is. Because I've looked everywhere to try and find it. Are you I, terrified of it? Uh, no, I'm not terrified of it. I'm terrified of like where it is if it's not like on normal social media. It's always, you know, it's like, just... It was never on Twitter. It was never on Instagram. It was never on Facebook. Like, where, where the fuck did this guy put this photo that he took me? Because he's not like just a person taking a photo of a phone. They had a whole camera set up and everything. Oh, yeah. It's like the it's like the front page of like the official Level Up Expo website, and it's just there, and you're in your cosplay. But you'll you'll look very uncomfortable. If... <laughs> I had just walked in, and I was like, I was proud of myself though, because like I I did a John from Ruby cosplay, and I put my own like little spin on it, and I I made it so that the sword can sit in the shield. Ooh. Like it does in the show. I was so proud of myself. I'd spent so many weeks working on it. It's still in my garage. Like, like I said, every piece for us is still in the garage because I was never disappointed with this cosplay. Unlike my Ida cosplay from My Hero Academia, I was so upset about how that one came is out. Is that your Todoroki one? Or? No, you Ida went... is the fast guy. Yeah, I thought you were. I thought I you... have the Todoroki okay. pieces as well. Those that's still in my garage too. 
Oh. But also that's because I got it signed by the voice actor. Oh, I, I see. It's a novelty item. But also, I like what I did. Like, I, I was, like, very proud of myself. Like, okay, so I can make this whole icy bump, like, bumpy icy texture and everything from, like, layering the foam and everything. <laughs> I saw you faking falling asleep. No, I was looking down the chair. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, okay. just make sure it was good. <laughs> it's like your head was slowly falling down. It was oh. like, okay, got you. I just wanted to just make sure it was still recording. But yeah, you were, you were proud of your cosplay thing. Yeah, I was very happy. And that was, like, the first time I ever cosplayed, like, multiple days in a row. And it was, uh, I did a fat gum, a shoto and a uh, John from Ruby. I was very proud of myself for it. Nice. Are we going to Ruby cosplay next year? Again, I think we should play the two characters from the team that only appeared in the first two seasons <laughs> who half the members me, died of. You're going to have to send me a picture of it because I have no idea what you're talking about. I've sent you many pictures, JD, and they look just like us. I don't <laughs> one of them looks like me when I had short hair and the other one has a mohawk. <laughs> just like you. Yeah, just like me. <laughs> Jay, remember the time when you had a mohawk? <laughs> well, you know, James, I, I kind of uh, did. Yeah, you ready to have another one? Or you could be the guy that just has, like, long hair. You don't have to have a mohawk guy. It's just mohawk guy doesn't wear, like, a lot of armor compared to everybody else. That's, That's fine. I think as long as the, the costume's the same, you know? I mean, we were brainstorming some ideas for cosplay. I mean, one one super easy one is the purple guy, right? You just wear yeah, purple. we were like, we're gonna be Michael and William. We were like, we just wear purple clothing. Just wear purple clothes. And we just go. We, we should do. <laughs> we just we just stole, skulk around. No, we should be that tries. one gift that you always send me whenever we make fun of when we talk about purple guy of like the dude smashing things, but he's like covered in like this paint. The incredible body paint. bulk. Yeah, the incredible perp. <laughs> no, I think that's literally a gif from like a scene they filmed for the Incredible Bulk movie. Oh, Are you yeah. aware of what that is? No, what is that? It's, so it's this very shitty uh, parody, I say. Because they, they talk about it as if it's serious and everything. Mm -hmm. But they were also like, we are the worst uh, film ever and we're proud of it type thing. But I don't think they actually are. Is this supposed to be a parody of the Hulk? It's supposed to be a parody of the Hulk. It's called The Bulk. It's entirely green screened and it's using like really simple like assets that do not belong together like it's cartoon kid type assets Ugh. like mixed in there's like random skeleton like roman is that skeleton supposed to be in. the bulk from the incredible bulk of the dude smashing things it, he's like a giant purple blob man oh so he actually is purple he's purple okay and, and, <laughs> and that's why like i think that's probably because there's a scene they filmed with one of the actors who doesn't play the bulk the bulk is played like by a fake character and then there's like one of the detectives it's this fat guy that's bald and then they fill a scene where they're like yeah we'll use a real person for once <laughs> and and it's like they he just shows up for one second it's like so jarring because it's like out of nowhere that's funny i thought someone is all colored i thought it was a, i thought it was like a someone like cosplaying like hulk or something and they have put on green paint and they were throwing things around and someone took that chroma key purple over the green that could be the case i think it's from the bulk because it okay. looks like it but <laughs> is that should we add the bulk onto the list of things we should watch i i want to say yes but also it's so bad and i feel like i would it's have terrible i think i'd have brain rot by the end jd how long is it ridiculously long unnecessarily long is it like two hours There's so much filler they add into it <laughs> the bulk and in the Get end it because it's bulky fillers <laughs> come on james you get it choose my everything <laughs> choose my everything hey jd remember the time we watched the bulk Well, you know, uh, yeah. You see this? It's dust. You're like dust. You are everywhere and I hate you. That's a line from Hulk. That's what the general, that's what he sounds like, by the way. Oh, my company did these uh, red bus lanes. Well, yeah, what's that for? Is it just to um, color it up? Spice yeah, style there, theory? There's a whole thing for it. Style, style theory. theory? There's a whole thing for it. And uh, let me just say this. There's so much wrong with what happened with it. So, to talk on it firstly, originally it was supposed to be painted and stuff. Then they're like, no, 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 no the company doesn't do the beads and fuse with the paint anymore. So it's mm -hmm. like, some of them are just super fucked up, comparatively. So it'll I might be like, see a fucked up one up there. Yeah, then they start using red rocks. Red rocks? Why are you looking at me Can like you that? imagine why you don't want to use rocks, JD? 
because they're not as good as road they asphalt. Mm-hmm. They'll get kicked up if somebody peels out on them, and uh, yeah. they'll turn black sooner and stuff. They'll return. You'll see it's already fading a bit there in like the center area and everything. Yeah. Is that, that made of red rock? Uh, I think a lot of these are, because that's huh. our point. I, okay. I didn't work for the company anymore after this. This is just something I like found out from like people and stuff. Okay. Because it was a whole fucking thing everybody hated. I see. Because like back up by where we went to school, you know, you remember how the uh, bike lanes had the green stuff? Yeah. We did that too. Okay. I was there when they did that. Was that paint? I, that, was, that was paint. Okay. And it was so beautiful. Like I saw it when it was freshly being put down because I was at summer school leaving. It looked good. And they were yeah. putting it down right in front of me. Yeah. And I was like, my fucking god, that's beautiful. I was like so happy with it and stuff. <laughs> you were the one who painted it, or? No, I okay. witnessed it. Like it was okay. the company that I was gonna work for and everything. You and saw like, it being painted. I saw it being painted. I'm like, my fucking god, that's such a beautiful color mm-hmm. like it was such a perfect lime green what the fuck yeah it was such a perfect lime green and everything it was so good it was you never so been good. down this road uh no i have this is new though this is pretty new there's like roundabouts here for no reason why you know my company probably did this too and i don't even know yeah i think i think you might your company might have done this and it's literally the stupidest thing ever. I have no idea why they would ever put roundabouts here. Let me say this. Here. We don't get to choose what we put down. Did the There's city... so many dumb fucking choices. Did the city tell you to do this? Or the contractor yes, in this area tell you to do this? city, the contractor, uh, some sort of Whatever, like, company. independent landowner well, like, want to tell yeah, you Yeah, you'll do. find, like, somebody is, like, just, like, in charge of this shit. This is so fucking dumb. <laughs> roundabouts... There are three roundabouts... roundabouts. <laughs> I, roundabouts are the most fucking useless things ever because they do nothing but just cause more problems. <laughs> just install four fucking stop signs. You don't need a roundabout. It's not necessary. It causes problems. It's like yield. Nobody knows who to fucking yield to though. People are insane. <laughs> the yield, it's a game of chicken, James. That's why people like it. I it's win it's cool. every time. No, James, you that lose every time. a fucking excavator time. in his backyard. Yeah, it's true. That was a really small excavator arm. It's a, it's a personal one you can buy. Yeah, it was a small personal excavator. <laughs> they, uh, see, roundabouts are just a game of chicken, okay? Oh, Whoever God, yields first I forgot loses. This is the case. What? Cimarron it ends at a fucking, uh, like, uh, not the way I was hoping. Like yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's a dead stop. You gotta make left turns and stuff. Oh, <laughs> I see. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's just. Uh, oh it's wait, just... no, it's not. It just hasn't been. I, never mind. I'm forgetting shit. I'm so, I'm so like fucking angry by the roundabouts. <laughs> They've infuriated you. They have. <laughs> made you almost as angry as when you I, I when I saw you like the pure look pure shock and then anger when you when you looked at that dude who was looking at Andrew Tate TikToks next to us in line because <laughs> it confused me you lost it boggled my mind so hard also I used to stop at the star nursery every day when I went to summer school on my yeah. way back because my mother uh, the the incredible lady she is she would go I'm not gonna drive you to school and she'd kick me out of the car like right here I'd yeah. have to walk all the way up to the bus stop up the street because there's not one right here right going up so I'd have to walk someone up the street get on the bus pay for it myself yeah with my own money like they she wouldn't give me like money to do it I'd have, I'd have to fucking like scounge up money and stuff buy my way go to school in from uh-huh and then I'd have to also do that, come back, walk all the way home and everything. When my mother was fully able to like pick me up and give me a ride for most of this shit. Hey, you know, it's just a, it's just hard, it's just a hard love, you know? It's what do they call it? It's a drug addiction. It's a <laughs> adultery. It's a, <laughs> a many things that she did. That she I guess it is a lot of things, huh? There's a lot she did. But we yeah. should cosplay as your mother. <laughs> But yeah, that's where I had, I had like my first monster and everything. And I had your first monster at Star at Nursery. At Star Nursery, they sell like monsters, and I was like, I was so dehydrated because like I didn't want to buy like drinks from the uh, grocery, like not the grocery store, but the uh, gas stations because they were so expensive. Right. So I go to Star Nursery. And well, yeah, you do have to give me the SIM card. Like, yeah, after, I'll pop okay. them out when we get to your place. Okay, cool. I uh, let's hope they work. Uh oh. In your fucking uh, SD card reader because yeah. we've never tested that before. Right. The only untested thing. Don't worry. I mean, if I'll go home immediately, pop it in, try it out, and if it doesn't work, I'll tell you. No, sorry, and then James. We'll work something it erased out. all the data. James, there's nothing on this SD card. Ah! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so you have to give me an SD card from this and the, the one camera. from the camera? Okay. I see. Which is a $900 camera, by the way. You don't have to keep telling people that. I have to keep on saying it because it definitely doesn't look like one. It's and just the way it, like, it's, it's, a, it's 4K stuff. quality. It's meant for multi-purpose. It's not supposed to have a yeah, telescopic lens. Yeah, it's high lens. quality, but it, it, there's it just has, not a lot of features it on it. There stuff. are a lot of features. They're just in the camera, not like on it. But the most basic features, like being able I'll to zoom, fucking kill you. What like, are you doing? Being able to zoom out. Is the bike lane? No, being it's not. Zoom out I more fucking hate bikes more. that think they're like cars. This is this is how you fucking die. What? What do you? What do you mean, James? Getting in the fucking turn lane and going to make a turn like you're a car. That's there's a the bicycle. There's a bicycle in front of us in the left oh, turn fucking, lane. Fucking t bone him. What's funny is it would have been better if he just went across the street yeah, there. Yeah, would have been. And then made the it and went that been. way. Because then he wouldn't, he wouldn't have to wait for the red light. No, just, fucking big brain over here is like, I'm just like a car. <laughs> I'm a car on. Well, I mean, this road is pretty I'm slow, a, so. I'm a car and I drive. <laughs> James just hates cyclists, you know. I don't, but like they rage me a little. <laughs> They're like roundabouts, just make no sense. There's no <laughs> sense. You, you could just ride like a normal person. Just get over to the light where it's safe. You don't have to die. <laughs> that's another. That's the second time a bicyclist has enraged you because the other one was the homeless dude on the bike who's gonna like, who looked like he was gonna ride in front of your car on the middle of the I road. I think I've had. I think I've, I think that was a, an appropriate reaction to him, JD. I think that was an appropriate I, reaction to be I mad at the guy who fucking did a double fake. I mean, me. yeah, you could be mad at him, but you like you slowed down. I mean, me, I would have sped up to like scare him a little bit. You like ah, jump scare him, you know. Yeah, go pretend little, that you're something like, you I are. I like swerve at him a little bit, you know? Oh my god, what is it? He fucking went slow too! He didn't even fucking make the turn properly! He's, he's made a left turn. Yeah, now he has, after a fucking minute, he like halted for a little, looked down at his phone. No, I mean, he's gotta check whether or not, you know, he's going the right way. He's the GPS, you know? He couldn't have checked the entire time it was a red light? <laughs> he waited till it turned green, started moving, then looked down? James, you're making too much sense, okay? I think I, I, you know what I think would make more sense? Once I drop you off, I go commit a crime. <laughs> a hate crime? <laughs> Nobody ever said I did to him because of anything that he was about. Just because he's a biker. <laughs> well, um, we're about... You can't hate crime me for that. We're just about pr approaching my, uh my stop here so i guess i'll, I'll round it out here Any there's last only thoughts, sorry it's only 30 minutes long but uh, last thoughts um can't wait for the next level up expo i can't you either know? we what what are we going to predict our costumes will be okay purple guy something fnaf related henry and william we've talked about this henry, henry and william. william um number we two. could get custom uh Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, like, worker shirts made for yeah, us. Yeah, we could just have the, the shirts. The, like, the security officer's mm -hmm. shirts. The night guard shirts. Uh, we could, uh, we could do the Classroom of the Elite school uniform dudes. Uh, because I, I like that anime. Uh, yeah, I we like should do it, something in but theme. But who the fuck would we be? You, you're saying I should be the blonde No, we could just be the random, guy. random students from the school. It's, we don't have to be, like, specific characters, you know? Yeah, we're like that one guy who walked around in a fucking UH gym yeah, uniform the whole day. We could be, um... Oh crap, the last one has evaded my memory. Uh anyway, what well I mean those those were the those are the ideas I'll pitch. I, and like well, I, we should I do something in related to whatever is gonna be going on. Yeah, the whatever next level the up, big right? uh guest Where the main are, event is. Which we'll learn a month before. <laughs> yeah, I mean I, well, we'll have two by the, by the time that happens. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, you should subscribe. Press that button, smash that button, get the tickle that button's cloaca, as Brandon Rogers would say. And I said, yes, 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 yes. yes! Bring us out, James. And so I said to him, I said to him, I, I don't need right, right. I, 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 I.